Right, it's time for player ratings. Chris Pajak is pulling a sicky at home, uh, so he's left this to me once again. Uh, Loris Carius. I'm going to give Loris Carius a... I'll give him a, oh, a nine, an eight. I'll give him an eight. To be honest, I don't think he was far off a nine. I just think it's unfortunate. And maybe I'm being tough on him, but mainly just because it is... is as a one-off game, it probably was a nine, but I think I want to see that as his base performance. If I can see, if I see him perform like that week in, week out, then I think he it won't matter that I've only given him an eight because he'll perform. But better, I thought he dominated it. I thought he was great. That was his best performance as a Liverpool goalkeeper. He saved things. He saved the penalty. He should have won us that game through his goalkeeping. Uh, so I'm gutted for him. Maybe a bit harsh, but if you want to give him a nine, give him a nine in the comments below. Uh, left back Andy Robertson. Uh, 8 out of 10, thought he was great, thought he, uh, he handled the things that had to be handled, he got across, he covered the space when, when, when they were trying to, they wanted us, to, we, we were narrow but we had to get over and cover the amount of, they went to an exceptional amount of width to try and break us down um, and I thought Robertson handled that really well, a couple of passes where he maybe could have done with a little bit more composure but by and large again, this is a lad that we've signed for 8 million quid from Hull and um, he's in the big games and when he's been he's been asked to step up in the last few weeks, he stepped up with, 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 with reckless abandon, he's been crazy, he's been fantastic. Centre Dejan Lovren, a lot of people will have gone, oh my God, Dejan Lovren, no, no, like Nam style flashbacks um, to Wembley uh, and every other performance that he's put in that was bad. I thought uh, he stepped up and, and did what was asked of him. Very, very good defensive performance. Now, bear in mind, when I give all these ratings out, I haven't been able to watch any of the highlights back. So if, if it, I can't remember, I don't, from my mind, I can't picture who it was that gives away the penalty penalty whatever it is at the end. So look, if he did that, knock a point off anyone's rating, if it's that player. Um, was it Virgil? Oh, well, we'll come to Virgil in a second then. Uh, I'll give Dejan Lovren an eight. I thought he was really good. Like, one, one moment of the game where he did the thing that he does when he just tries a bit too much and he was trying to be a bit too front foot and he got out of, he got out of hand. There was a moment when Dejan Lovren was on the right wing uh, and he chested it down into his path and he very nearly played a killer ball into the box. Like So yeah, good performance from him. Virgil van Dijk, I would give him a, 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 an eight, but if it is the Tim that's given away the penalty, it was, uh, I, I, like I said, I couldn't. Have, I, I can see the leg, I can't see the body attached to it. I'm looking at it, it's a bit, it looked a bit of a reckless swipe. And if he got away with it, he'd have been counting his blessings. But, you know, we did into the penalty and we've, we've dropped the points as a result. Um, but nothing, you know, nothing serious, nothing long term. But yeah, you, you've got to mark him down for that. So seven for Virgil. Um, Trent, I'll give him a seven as well. I thought he handled Deli Ali really well during the game. I think Ali was trying to needle him as well and he stepped up to it. I just think toward the end when we were getting run a bit ragged, he was just a little bit too tucked inside. We needed him to get out to their, to their, to their wing and a little bit faster just to close down. Just would have eased the pressure a little bit more. But again, not a criticism. This is a game where I think a lot of people would have gone, oh my God, we haven't got Joe Gomez in against a really good attacking side. And I thought I thought Trent handled himself wonderfully. Um, Jordan Henderson, 8 out of 10 performance. I think, I think he did what we saw he and did a, do it against Huddersfield we saw him do it against a much better team in a much better midfield moving the ball quickly trying to make things happen for us once or twice just out strength by uh, Dembele but that man is a ball it's ridiculous how strong he is it took Emre Chan to spear him to tell him to take him to the ground we all remember that moment yeah um, but yeah I really like Henson's performance and I think I think it's telling that we, we lost control of the game when he had to come off because look inevitably you know we need to get him back into fitness and we need to get him back into form week in week out for the rest of the season because you can see how important he is Emre Chan thought he had a good performance which similarly tailed off in the absence of Henderson but I'll give him an 8 nevertheless um, uh, James Milner, I'll give him an eight as well. That midfield three was excellent and it just ran out of steam in the second half, which is fair play. They put in two titanic shifts uh, in the space of a week and uh, to be accepted to some, uh, to be expected to some extent. Uh, Mo Salah, what more can you say? Nine out of ten. Um, not like an all-conquering performance as such, but he's just becoming a lethal poacher. Um, and you know, he, he should his goal should have been more than enough to win that game for us. I think he's put in better all-round performances for us this season, but you can't argue with the goals that he scored. Sadio Mane. Eight, I'll give Sadio an eight. I thought he worked well. He worked hard. He got sold down the river in the first half by a terrible pass uh, from Mohamed Salah. Um, he could have had a goal if it had just been a better pass. It would have been, uh, you know, he could, he could have been there. But yeah, I thought he was fine. Bobby Firmino, give him an eight, a nine as well. Um, worked tirelessly, put them under pressure, and maybe not like in an obvious way. It's one of those performances where people might look at it and be like, oh, "What did he do?" The, the amount of running, the amount of off the ball work, and the amount of tracking back and harrying that he did, he led what we did in a, in, a, in a positive sense in an attacking sense and you know in a defensive sense as well you know the, we, we gag and press and we gag and press well because of the performances of Roberto Firmino so yeah been unsung today but not not by me his performance was sung
his praises are sung. Yeah. Um, substitutions, Oxlade Chamberlain, six. What was the point? Didn't really do much. Looked a little bit slow to get out. Don't think he was prime for that type of performance, if I'm perfectly honest. I think he, he looked a bit cold when he, when he came on as well. He was the other subs. Genie, similarly, six. I, I, one, once or twice, a, bit, like a shade better, I think, than Chamberlain, but, but not by much. And. Joel Matter six again. I don't think he really had too much to do. I think the decision to to, to shift the theatre back was the, was the right one, given the, the pressure we were under. And he looked, you know, calm. But again, it's Joel Matter a little too calm. I could have done with someone just being a bit more. I don't know. I don't. I, I, I don't think he could have done particularly much more. It wasn't really the chance for him to shine, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, ultimately gutted, disappointed, but inevitably I think we'll all be a little bit more upbeat when we move on from this game a bit more. Give this video a thumbs up, let me know your play ratings in the comments below. Check out the rest of the post-match content. Uh, and if you want to see more from me, uh, go and watch Mates TV as well. Thank you very much. Ta-ra.